Hey guys, the Paranoid Android team have released version 4.6 beta 1 today and they have introduced a new feature called Dynamic System Bar, so I thought I'd go ahead and check that out for you guys. It's still being developed, so take that into account. There are a few bugs, it's not quite as fast or as smooth as it could be just yet, but I'm pretty confident the PA team will improve that quite quickly, so yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. You can toggle the option in the display menu in the main settings section and you can choose to have the status bar and navigation bar change colour depending on the app or both together. We'll check those settings out a little later. Let's show you what this looks like in action right now. So when we open up an application you can see the status bar changes to the same colour used in the application. No other input is needed, you don't need to spend hours finding the correct hex colour for each app, it finds and applies it all automatically for you. The status bar icons will also change colour based on the background of the status bar so if you open up something like Chrome where you can't really see it because it's too white, it will change them to a kind of darker colour so you can see them. It does also work for applications like the Google Play Store where it has multiple different colours for each section. If you tap into one of those you'll see the status bar changes, for example for music it changes to orange, if you go to movies and TV it'll change to red. As I mentioned previously it's not perfect right now, it does have a few bugs, you can see right now we're seeing one of those, it took a little while to actually recognise the colour and it did seem to add a little bit more jank when opening up applications. Now it should be noted that it's not just the colour of the app's action bar that's being matched here. So wherever you are in an app, the system bars will adapt and that's pretty impressive. Now we're going to dive into the settings and we're going to turn on the dynamic navigation bar setting as well. So it's changing both the status bar and the navigation bar depending on the app's colours. So in the case of Android Central, the status bar is a green colour and the navigation bar is a white colour. So it kind of merges the system bars into the app and overall that gives more continuity and flow over just having black bars. You can see a similar effect with Twitter as well. And one of the best things about this is it's all automatic. You don't have to worry about finding the different colors or inputting loads of different colors for different apps. Turning on the system bar gradient just adds a gradient to the bar. So it's not just a block color, it kind of fades its way in. And setting the darker option pretty much just makes the system bars that little bit darker and you can definitely see there's a little bit of a difference between the status bar and application here. So overall I love the look and feel that this tweak gives to your applications, it just makes it feel that little bit more polished I guess is the best way to put it. And yeah everything just flows a little bit more and it makes it feel like less of the screen is wasted so that's always a good thing. Now, as I mentioned before, there are a few bugs. Sometimes it can slow the device down quite a bit. You will notice it, I think, right now. But it is in beta. Hopefully, the PA team can rectify all those issues. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Peace out.